Trump. All right, so Buck Sexton and I had 45 minutes in the Oval Office today with President Trump. It was a remarkable interview. We learned an awful lot, and we found a president who was very relaxed, and very calm, very confident in his decision to declassify the Russia documents. Uh, those are the FISA warrants and the other things that d uh, show the origins of the FBI case against him. And what the president said is the reason he did it was that he wanted to give the American public transparency on what happened in this case. In his mind, the entire FBI investigation, he said, is no longer just a witch hunt. It's a hoax. It was a fraud designed to make it look like he had colluded with Russia when there's no evidence that that occurred. And he was very strong on lots of different things. A lot of moments in the interview that really stick out with us. Let me give you one of them. Early on, we asked him about his decision to fire James Comey. He revealed something we had never heard before, and that is that he intended to fire Comey much earlier. All the way back in 2016, he had made the decision. He said he was talked out of it. He doesn't do it until May 2017. That, of course, causes the whole obstruction investigation to be launched. But he said he had made the decision early on because he didn't trust Comey's judgment in the Clinton email case. And he said, uh, if, if it was one mistake I did, it was that. I should have fired him before I even got to be president, let it be known I didn't want him to be director as soon as I took over or fired him on the first day I got there. A really strong moment. We haven't heard that before from the president. I thought that was really revealing. Um, another time, he, he talked about his efforts to bring all this to light, to fight the FBI, to show he didn't collude with Russia, and to expose what he said was a corrupt investigation. He said those famous text messages by... Uh, Page and Strzok, the two FBI agents, really were key to showing that there was this was a deceptive, dishonest investigation. And he said it's one of the great scandals in the history of our country because basically what they did is they used Carter Page, who nobody even knew, who I feel very badly for. He was treated badly. They used Carter Page as a foil in order to just surveil a candidate for the presidency of the United States. A very strong word. He accused the FBI of making an excuse, the pretext, just so he could spy on a campaign. Thought that was really strong. Um, I thought another thing is this entire fight with the FBI, he said, might become one of the crowning achievements that I was able to, through the help of a lot of good people, to expose something that is truly a cancer in our country. He called the FBI corrupt investigation of Russia, his words, a cancer on the country. I thought that was a really great moment uh, where you really got some insights to how the president really feels about this investigation. Finally, there was one other moment that I really thought was interesting for the first time he addressed the judges on the FISA court. That's the secret intelligence court that approved the warrant, the surveillance warrant on the Trump campaign at the very end of the 2016 election. And this is what he said about the judges. One of the things I'm disappointed in is that the judges in the FISA court don't seem to have done enough. I'm very disappointed. Now, I may be wrong. Maybe as we sit here, they're doing some sort of review, he told us. We just don't know because I personally have not chosen to get any more involved in it. But he felt like the FISA court rubber stamped the um, uh, FISA warrants and didn't ask enough questions, didn't challenge the FBI agents. What was the nature of your evidence? How did, did they know it was from the Clinton campaign and funded by the DNC? He was very concerned about that. So a lot of news. Now, tomorrow we have uh, the president's comments on Jeff Sessions. You're not going to want to miss out. And also uh, his comments on the Kavanaugh and the accuser. There was a very a poignant moment in the interview. We asked him whether he doubted the accuser's accusations. You're going to want to hear what the president said about that. So tune in tomorrow rising. You'll learn more about our interview with President Trump.